Okay, love bugs, welcome back to my channel. It's PZ Lou, and if you're new, welcome to the love bug family, and thank you so much for hitting that red subscribe button. So, today we have another pick a card reading, messages from your person. It's a timeless tarot card reading as well as a timeless oracle card reading, but today we're gonna pull a bunch of more oracle cards and a bunch more channeled messages from your person so um let's get into it so we got pile one with the mystic mondays tarot with the blue quartz we got pile two with the pride tarot and the black obsidian and we got pile three with the white newman tarot with the amethyst point so go ahead tune into the pile see which one is calling you most it's perfectly fine if more than one pile calls you just watch both of them time stamps are down below and i'll see you there Mwah. Hi, Pile One. I had to turn off my fan, so sorry. But we got the Mystic Mondays Tarot with the Blue Quartz. I hope you guys are doing well today. So go ahead, get your person in mind. Um, again, this is um, channeled messages from your person reading. So think about any questions that you want answered. Um, and we can get started and see what we come up with. Before I ask any questions, the musician fell up. The musician, <laughs> the musician. Maybe some of you guys are um, musicians, but actually, it's the magician. Um, but anyway, what is the overall energy for Pile One and their person? Okay. Judgment. Two major arcana cards and we got knight of pentacles let's get one more the emperor interesting all this um major arcana we only got the knight of pentacles which is cool um the overall energy you guys are like really um dependable solid good um hard workers um you guys are also very spiritual i'm feeling in this connection um be able to manifest a lot of things um but you might have been going through some time where you needed to self-reflect i feel like you might have been like some type of authority or like power figure in this connection and that might be weighing heavily on somebody just take what resonates and leave what doesn't that may be weighing heavily on someone and they've needed some time to kind of self-reflect and realize kind of reset like which direction is my life going ultimately i know i'm a hard worker and i can do so many different things maybe even a jack of all trades um and i feel like your connection can go so many different ways because you guys can manifest it um so there might have been a time where you need to take some have a reset or the divine masculine um part of this connection might might have felt like they needed to um take a step back and kind of reevaluate this connection and figure out how you guys can get a little bit more love in the life is what i'm getting just take what resonates and leave what doesn't pile one all right um how is pile one's person feeling about them right now Ace of Wands. Six of Wands. And Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm, I think I want one more. Oh, godly. Come on. temperance i get a sense that maybe you guys have been together for a long time or the way that you are you might be kind of set in your ways um people are starting to see your success um your person is starting to see your success and see all the hard work that you've been doing um they absolutely love how spiritual and ambitious you are to be like go out and just be like hey i think i want to do this i'm gonna try it out they love that about you um but they also love that you are very balanced and patient so things might not be happening and panning out as fast as you want them to um but they know and they see your success they see how you know much you want to 
go out and do new things, try new things, and they love that you weigh out your options, kind of balance, take a kind of a balance approach. The Ace of Cups in reverse, um, I'm feeling like maybe they feel confused um, or they might feel they might feel that you're kind of confused or discouraged about something that's um, going a certain way, but ultimately they see your success. They see everything coming to fruition for you. Like, and it's going in a good direction. Just still be patient, weigh out your options um, because everything about you, they absolutely love. They just feel like, hey, maybe you're just tripping out on yourself a little bit and feeling discouraged and confused, but you got this ultimately. All right, let's get a couple more tarot cards before we get into the messages like I promised, and the oracle. So what brings um, Pile 1 and their person together? King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so obviously there's a couple here. So you guys are very similar with this King of Pen Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. You guys might be Earth signs. Um, what? Sorry. You guys might be Earth signs. Um, <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm so sorry. Just take a resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, you guys both. Um, very grounded, earthy people. Um, really enjoy being financially stable having a really good home life so that those type of things that you have in common really were starting to bring you guys together um we do have the seven of swords here so you guys might have came together in a not so honest way i don't know maybe being a little sneaky sneaker um you guys might have a little bit of those characteristics um to you and it kind of like gives you like this like adrenaline rush and this joy and excitement like oh my god this is exciting like uh i don't know just take a resonance and leave what doesn't i feel like yeah maybe you guys came together maybe it was like some infidelity in previous relationships and you guys fell in love i don't know that's just what i'm getting all right lastly let's get some blocks real quick what are the blocks in this connection what's blocking them from having a more happy relationship more successful relationship the star seven of Pentacles there's like so many Pentacles in this thing knight of cups these are these are the blocks <laughs> I feel like the romance is missing i feel like there might be one person that gives a little bit more romance wise than the other person and so that causes one of you or one of you to be like have a lack of patience and feel like you're like wasting your effort um and so with that comes a lack of serenity with the star card um coming up as a block like lack of serenity lack of inspiration when one or the other person feels like they're giving so much like rom romance wise but the other person's not giving it back and it's like hey like i'm tired of working this hard i'm tired of watering watering this plant like you're not meeting me halfway um so that's what i get for blocks now let's get into the oracles some advice for pile one and their person let's go a new day dawns See the signs. That wanted to come out, both of these. Become a shapeshifter. Let two become one. Yeah, I feel like you guys kind of just need to start fresh with your relationship. Um, but you need to communicate because when you communicate, then you don't have to look and see the signs so much. Or maybe the signs forces you to communicate because you don't want to be wasting your time i know i start seeing certain signs in my relationships and i'm like okay 
I need to face this head on and realize and communicate so that we can figure out if this is even worth our time because nobody wants to waste their time, right? Um, so I feel like you guys should see the sign. Start afresh with the new day dawns. Let two become one. I felt like there was a lack of romance. Um, or like I said, one person might be giving more in the romance department than the other. But let two become one. Get a little bit more intimate with yourself. You know what I mean? And then also just be able to change be able to adapt to situations because change is unavoidable and ultimately you might need to become a shapeshifter you know you might be able to you might have to have the ability to change your ways of thinking change the ways you do things in order for the connection to work let's get a couple more oracle oh bittersweet quest flew out on the floor let me grab them let me grab them funny because the way that it came out is i never had these two come out together i haven't even used these this oracle like chakra deck but obviously there is a lack of communication in this relationship because these are two cards that are blue we have seven different colors because there's seven different chakras and the blue is the black in of the throat chakra um, so something might be going on in the connection where you guys are sad about something, but you have to like kind of wear a mask and no pun intended for pandemic, but um, things are going on in this connection where you feel like you have to wear a mask and be happy to make other people happy um, and ultimately be a little bit wise and go on the quest, go on the quest of talking to each other go on a journey of starting this new relationship because a new day dawns and talk about what's bittersweet talk about the mask that you guys are wearing and why you're not moving forward right oh my god did i miss something lion higher calling you have within you all the courage you need let go of the past and reclaim your majesty you will find success and contentment with those by your side make noble choices for yourself your life and your tribe i absolutely love that that's resonating with what's going with what's going on in this reading yeah you have to be able to find success and contentment you have to be able to realize that you have all the courage that you need and everybody that is around you right now and will be by your side once you start communicating listen to your higher calling oh this is so pretty unicorn infinite possibilities you are the sovereign of the seen and the unseen worlds the magic of love surrounds you beauty transforms you listen to the spirits of light abandon the darkness go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary yeah i feel like you're really able like even with that knight of pentacles coming out um in the beginning i feel like you're definitely able to be a hard worker and go for your destiny um you're definitely not ordinary you're legendary um i feel like your person sees that about you and they absolutely love that about you um so just Abandon the darkness. Think of only the good things. All right. I made some of these cute little cards. More message cards. So let's get started. What's some more advice for Pile One and their person? Be clear on long term visions. This is kind of like a Seven of Cups card. Stay woke and ask your ancestors. Yes, we're kind of getting that with the, um, where is that? Okay, I don't feel like looking for it. But, yeah. Pay attention to the signs. That's what it was. See the signs. Because your ancestors are sending them to you. It's actually right there. I'm slow. All right, what else we got? Detach from emotions. Focus on structures and and rules so i feel like if you have been feeling like you're giving more in the romance department um than your person it's kind of like detach from your emotions kind of change your perception and be a shapeshifter and see where they might be coming from and why they might be lacking um what they might be lacking and why they're lacking in that area while you feel like you're doing all the work um people see your success 
So this is the Six of Wands coming out for the second time. Look, where is it? Ace of Wands. Six of Wands right there. Six of Wands, Six of Wands. People see your success. So your person really sees that you're doing well. The question is, do you feel like you're doing well? Then we got... You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And this is crazy because it's Seven of Wands, which I think flew out as well. Yep, right next to the Six of... Oh, that's Seven of Swords. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right, but you get it. So let's get some messages from your person, as promised. I have so many cards here. Whoa. Your person is saying you are unfair. Or I feel like if you're the person that felt like you're giving too much, then you might be saying that. Uh, let me get what fell. Mm. I should have made you an offer a long time ago. So they felt like they're slow. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. And I love every inch of you. So your person is obviously physically attracted to you in every way and loves being next to you. You hurt my feelings. So you are unfair. We got you hurt my feelings, but that's right next to detach from emotions. So somebody just might be in their feelings for too long, which is actually unfair. It's like you have to get over it. And I noticed like, never mind. I'm not even gonna say it. I wish that you were here now. <laughs> Use the law of attraction. Yes, you should. I actually have a law of attraction. Oh, we're on my law of attraction channel. Just kidding. Whenever I'm on my other channel, Love Bug Light, I'm like, follow my law of attraction channel, but we're on PZ Lou. Duh. Duh. Use the law of attraction for your connection to work. Visualize your connection being happy. Visualize yourself doing great things together. Visualize yourself loving on each other. Visualize yourself communicating well. Let's get a couple more. Oh, let's get a couple more. You deserve more. Do you want to be with me? That could be like, hey, do you want to be with me? Like, I actually will make you an offer. Like it says here. Uh, like it said with, I should have made you an offer a long time ago. You know, do you want to be with them? That's what it could mean. Or it's like, hey, we're together. Like, do you even want to be with me? Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. People hate on us. Mm, okay. Couple more. They just flew. I think it's time. I'm glad that you came. You excite me so much and let's get two more. One from the top, one from the bottom. Four more. All right. I want to lay next to you. Like I said earlier, they love every interview. They enjoy being right next to you. Let's change the rules. Yeah, I said you guys might have came together and something like kind of deceptive and they're like, fuck it, let's just be together. Oops, excuse my French. I'm ready. <laughs> the fuck it, let's be together. And I'm sorry I haven't opened up more. All right, pal one, that's all that I have for you today. I really hope that this visit video resonated for you. If it did, please be sure to give your girl a huge thumbs up and like this video. If not, it's completely fine. You can check out another pile either here or on my other channel. Love bug light i'll see you very soon and bye what's up pile two i hope you guys are doing well we got the pride tarot with the black obsidian maybe you guys need to heal maybe there's something that you guys need to heal about because that crystal is about healing um so go ahead get your person in mind again this is a timeless reading um and this is also a general reading so if you don't feel like this pile resonates with you feel free to check out another pile um either here on this channel or my other channel love bug light okay so get your person in mind. Think of any questions you want answered, okay? All right. Eight of Cups, the overall energy. Page of Pentacles. What else is the overall energy in Pile 1's person's connection? I'm sorry, Pile 2. doesn't want to come out right when I said that it's like yes I do wow too many cards though um we got the sun it's actually not reversed and knight cups knight of swords excuse me 
let's do it this way, like I've been doing. For you guys to see. All right, the overall energy in this connection, I feel like somebody feel, felt in this connection that they had to walk away from making their dreams a reality. They felt like maybe they had to walk away from doing things that made them more, I don't know, making them feel more liberated when it comes to real world, real world goals and like feeling grounded here on this earth. But I think ultimately you guys do bring light to each other. You guys do make each other happy. I feel like you might have been through certain things um, in this connection before that weren't always so great. But now you guys are finally starting to see the light, like starting to feel a little bit more warmth in the connection, like the winter is over. Um, but then we also have the Knight of Swords here. So um you guys might be a very ambitious couple a very fast moving couple and make decisions um a little bit faster um than most so even with this page of pentacles energy and wanting to have that thirst for knowledge and be grounded i feel like it kind of gets um contrasted a little bit with all this fast energy about you know if there's a will there's a way and we're gonna do it you know fast thinking and being obsessive about things but I do feel like you guys bring each other love and light and maybe have like I said been through things before um, that made you feel like you wanted to walk away from the love but ultimately you guys stuck through it so I feel like they're just communicate just communicate and you never know what might happen right the bottom of the deck is in the nine of cups so yeah um i feel like also you guys have yeah been through a situation where you've kind of already earned all the love and been there done that and you've collected all these cups of love of emotions and being able to really see what you want for your dreams um and it's kind of like now is the time to enjoy the fruits of your labor enjoy all this that you've collected enjoy where you've come and where you've been um, and enjoy the future and how sunny it is. How is Pile 2's person feeling about them right now? They're all over the place, just like this deck is what I feel. King of Pentacles. We have a lot of Pentacles in Pile 1 too. You might wanna check out Pile 1. I feel like your relationship might be somewhat of a secret because these cards keep taking forever to want to come out. Um, we got two of pentacles, more pentacles. Two of cups, nice. Eight of swords. They feel like ultimately they want to give you the world they want to give you everything the king of pentacles they want to give you the family they want to give you the happiness they want to give you the home they want to be charitable with you um they want to start new things with you this two of pentacles like new ideas and directions to be grounded and to become successful together two of cups another two here two of cups when two become one ultimately in love i want to spend my time with you I want to spend my time with you. I love expressing myself to you. I love being passionate with you. I love sharing my emotions with you. I want to give you the world. I want to start new things with you. But ultimately, I feel confined about something and I feel stuck. I feel stuck like your person feels stuck like they can't make it happen. Um, they, but they're blinded. They're blinded and they don't realize that they can make it happen. Those ropes aren't too tight. You know, they can literally break free from this confined situation that your person feels that's causing them to not be able to give you the world um maybe you can help them realize you got to open your eyes help them realize that they can open their eyes and ask for help and be like hey as long as you want the world for me as long as you want this life for me and you feel like i'm the person for you and you want to start new stuff like we we can t this can be gone we can think of only the good things to so that we can cancel out whatever this confinement or this feeling stuck is going on all right what are the blocks in this connection what are the blocks in this connection um, that is causing power to and their person's relationship to not move forward more quickly? The 
beautiful. The world. It's funny because we I was talking about giving you the world. If that didn't fly out, I don't know what did. Knight of Wands. One more. The Hanged Man. Three major arcana cards are coming up as a block. So this might have been going on for a very long time. Um, you guys aren't just living. You guys aren't just going ahead and like just being more spontaneous and having a good time in your connection um, and making more time to enjoy yourself and give off. I feel like you guys are very like smart people and very like wise people and you guys should spend that time, the free time that you have spreading your your knowledge, spreading your wealth. And I feel like those are some that's something that you guys can come together and work together with and maybe strengthen your bond. Um you guys might have been going through some stuff. Um like I said that makes you feel like you wanted to walk out on love here with the hangman, but ultimately I feel like you guys have been able you haven't been able actually you haven't been able to kind of self-reflect and like just be chill with like stuff that happens because change is unavoidable and negative things are going to happen regardless. And I feel like you guys don't take stuff like that well, um, because usually the hangman is like, OK, all this stuff is going on and everything is like affecting me negatively. But you know what? I even hang I'm hanging from this tree. But you know what? I'm just going to enjoy my apple and just let life go by. And I feel like you guys lack um, that type of energy. Um, so yeah, be a little bit more spontaneous, be a little bit more like act first, think later, because I think that with all these pinnacles in this reading, you guys are lacking that like airiness because you're so focused about what's going on here on this earth instead of just like enjoying each other's time, enjoying each other's company, like loving on each other again. Um, we got the world card as well. So there's a block of face of unity like i'm saying there's there's a block of unity um not feeling like you guys are achieving stuff together and like being complete um and so you guys should definitely work on that work on getting the love back let's get some oracle cards surrender to the flow ladybug We are all connected, as we know. Stay strong. One more. Calm the storm. So yeah, like I said, there might have been stuff that's been going on that's been making you guys feel like you need to walk away. It might be stuff that's going on that makes you guys feel like so stuck and confined where you feel like you want to give up. But it's okay, just surrender to the flow because this too shall pass. Time passes, so you're not gonna always be in a negative flow of things. So just surrender to it and just go with the flow. Think of only the good things. Don't wait for the storm to pass, dance in the rain. You know what I mean? Watch a comedy, make, make yourself laugh, go work out, get some adrenaline pumping. Um, we're all connected. So yeah, in your connections, if somebody is feeling super down or negative energy or feeling defeated like you're putting that energy on your person and when you put that energy on your person and the people around you it's a big dark cloud around the connection in general just know to stay strong and like i said this shoot this too shall pass calm the storm it's funny when i said don't dance and don't wait for the storm to pass um dance in the rain um so yeah that's what i feel i feel like you guys just really need to work on your love connection a little bit more even though all this stuff is going on go back to basics and figure out what was going on that brought you guys together in the first place trust your instinct perception don't forget to look at it in your partner's shoes like you might be feeling a certain way like oh my god I can't believe this person is doing this I can't believe they're doing that I can't believe they're not paying attention to me this way I can't believe they're not grateful I can't believe they're not calling me you know but then you got to think about what they might be going through why might they be calling you why might they not 
be grateful? Why might um, they be acting this particular way? If you learn to communicate with each other and trust your heart. This is a green card, um, the heart chakra. Like I said, you guys need to work on the on the love a little bit more. Um, but yeah, change your perception and think about how your person might be feeling. Think about why they might be acting the way that they act. One more. Forgiveness. If your person did something, learn to forgive. Period. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you did something, they need to learn to forgive you. And I mean, there's only so much we can do for other people to make them forgive but when you don't forgive it's just like on your heart forever and it's just like this negative cloud some advice for pile two rebirth and success you guys need to really redefine your relationship and start fresh like I was talking about and then you'll be successful. And it's funny because this is like the sun card, which is also right here. So that came up twice. This one also came out, nine of cups. <laughs> oh my God. There's a balance in all areas of your life. You guys gotta learn to balance it. I'm just really freaking out a little bit because this is the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups is also right here, which I told you was on the bottom of the deck. So it came up twice. <laughs> I'm loving it. You're right, you're right where you need to be. Changes for the highest good. Yeah, so whatever you're going, whatever situation you're going through, whatever journey you're going through, you're right where you need to be. The changes for the highest good. So just go with the flow, like this card said. Calm the storm, surrender to the flow. It's like the wheel of fortune because you're right where you need to be right now. Cool? All right, let's get some messages about what your person would say to you right now. Watch us fool on the floor. I should buy you roses. Ooh. I know you are right for me. That's beautiful. I don't think that one's ever come up. I'm sorry I manipulated you. Oh, well, that's probably why you wanted to walk away from the love. That Eight of Cups card. I'm on the way. Cook for me. <laughs> They're like, I want to come over. Cook for me. <gasps> Start a family with me. Crazy because we had that uh, Ten of Pentacles card, wherever it is, underneath there. And Two of Cups. Get a sign that these want to be read. Let's play for keeps. Yeah, they want you. I love being spontaneous with you. That is so cute. I love being spontaneous too. I'm going to show my emotions more. That is great. We need that. <gasps> right after that, it said, are you? The funny thing is, is I put this card in this deck with like nothing on the other side because I was like, I wonder just when this might ever pop up. And that's funny. I'm going to show my feelings more. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to show my emotions more. Are you? Wow. I really love that that came out together right after each other. And then the last one is I want to wine and dine you. All right, pile two. That's all that I have for you today. I really hope that this video resonated. If it did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and like this video. If not, you can go ahead and check out another pile either on this channel or on my other channel, PZ Lou. Until the next time, see ya. Hi, pile three. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to your pile. Go ahead, get your person in mind. Think of any questions that you want answered. This is a timeless tarot card reading as well as a timeless oracle card reading. We're going to get some channeled messages from your person. Think about any questions that you want answered. Um, but keep in mind, this is a general reading. So if this doesn't resonate with you, it's completely fine. You can go ahead and check out another pile or another video I've made either here or on my other channel, Love Bug Light. Okay. Wow. So what's the overall energy for pile three and their person? Nine of Pentacles flew out, High Priestess. This is an 18 and up reading, so don't let the artwork offend you. I think it's beautiful. Um, but 
overall energy for pile three in their person. Sorry, I just broke my nail and I'm like, what? Um, Page of Pentacles. This whole reading, this whole video has been so Pentacles um, forward. Like, I've used three different decks and all these Pentacles keep coming out. But the overall energy for your connection, the Fool, Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles. Um, I like that you guys, um, I feel like you guys are a very spontaneous couple. I feel like you guys like to do whatever comes to you and it's like, hey, you want to go do this? And it's like, um, mm, never thought of it, but let's do it. Um, and I think that that's really great because ultimately you, you deserve it. We got the nine of pentacles here and it's kind of like, hey, I've been working so hard anyway and I didn't start it pl planting my seeds and now I'm reaping what I sow. Like our garden is growing um, collectively. So I like that you guys like to work together in that situation. Um, the page of pentacles. So <laughs> you're like on your way to starting this like grounded material financially abundant life and i think that that's beautiful you guys are like let's go for it you do got to keep in mind with the fool card though that when you just act first think later it's going to be fun and it's going to be great but there's also going to be downfalls as well um so just keep that in mind but still have fun because again you do deserve to go out and go on these journeys to figure out what what needs to happen to make you guys get to like a more stable and grounded life um I feel like your person, the divine masculine person in this connection feels like the divine feminine is very much like serene and like a goddess, like just like intuitive and they absolutely love that because since we have so much pinnacles going on and so much like grounded earth energy of what's happening here on this earthy plane um you gotta be a little intuitive you gotta be a little spiritual you gotta be a goddess and like pay attention to your dreams and you know listen to subliminal messages to get you guys to um have more of a get to the goals and dreams that you want for your connection all right let's get some more where is my deck i'm like where is my deck what um how is pile three's person feeling about them right now temperance oh the world major arcana you guys should check out pile one and pile three because these similar type readings keep happening The world came out in pile two, but temperance, I think, came out in pile one, if I'm not mistaken. Page of Cups just flew. Let's get one more for how your person is feeling about you. Hierophant. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's not that anything is crazy, it's just that it's so much major arcana going on um they feel like you guys are doing what you got to do to complete like the situation of whatever was going on before that might have been like more of a struggle but now you guys are going in such a great direction that's making you feel so much so balanced and so patient um they love how balanced and patient you are they love how you weigh out all the options and don't just think so fast all the time like even though you guys are like this in your relationship and like to do fun stuff um, and like to be spontaneous sometimes to balance out your earth life, um, they love that you are balanced and patient and are kind of like, hey, wait, before we go out and do all that, we might need to second guess and think of all the uh, situations that might come about. Um, but yeah, they feel like you're you're very conventional as well and you're able to really use your third eye. Um, this is Taurus energy. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but it's just like you're a guide and they really love that. They love like your structure, your traditions, like things that you do um, that keep you balanced. But at the same time, you're still a really fun person. Um, we do have the world coming up. Just like I said, that came up in pile two as well but the world is just basically the end of the higher arcana it's like you've 
completed everything and you've achieved things and so much that you guys are like in such unity right now and it feels your person feels so united with you um we also have the page of cups here so like finally i'm not not finally but i'm glad some cups came out because that's about like expressing your love and emotions um so we do have the page of cups i'm gonna read what the book says about that um for this deck okay flow synchronicity mystic messages subconscious messages swim through your subconscious through your conscious mind receiving intuitive messages from within the princess of cups which is also the page of cups um, brings inspiration to create to trust your insight to listen to your intuitions and so on and so forth so yeah they feel like you're very intuitive with the higher font here the page of comps here they feel like you're balanced and just like united with you and i think that that is beautiful so what are the blocks in its connection what's stopping them from moving even forward more what flew eight of swords shocker that came out in pile one the completely different deck and a bunch just flipped or did they too page of swords ace of wands um well even though you guys even though you, your person feels so united with you and thinks you're so intuitive and like loves living this life and tries to have it balanced um i feel like they still there's some feeling of being trapped there's some feeling of being stuck um there's some feeling of feeling there's some feeling of feeling <laughs> there's some feeling like hey i can't really see and i'm afraid to ask for help i don't really know what's going on um and i feel stuck you guys need to communicate more um i feel like you guys also have um with this ace of wands here i feel like you guys just aren't clear on the direction that you might want to go and neither one of you are really tracing your dreams um and that sucks you might feel like annoyed with each other sometimes like there's all talk no action you guys aren't going in the direction that will ultimately make your relationship better um that kind of sucks yeah don't be annoyed with each other just learn to accept each other and communicate in a way that is effective for you guys all right let's get some oracle cards as promised a bunch a whole bunch of different ones oh, well share your thoughts let your emotions flow honor gaia yeah, you guys might need to just like go out on a walk or something, go enjoy nature and really just share your thoughts with each other without arguing. Because like I said, with these blocks coming in, you guys are feeling annoyed with each other. And it's like all talk, no action and feeling like you guys are just both talking too much and not really listening to each other. So you guys got to just go take a walk in nature or go somewhere where you guys feel like you can talk comfortably and enjoy the surroundings and share your thoughts. And it's like, hey, I say a sentence, period. Now you respond. Now I say a sentence, don't cut each other off. I feel like maybe there might be a situation where you guys feel like you're cutting each other off, but also you let your emotions flow. If like, if you wanna cry, you feel like you need to cry, cry. Like if you feel like you need to yell, I wouldn't necessarily yell, but get your point across like, hey, I wanna yell right now, but I'm not going to because I'm better than that. Um, yeah. Trust in your strength and power to, ooh, trust in your strength and power to make it to the ends. So that's like the nine of wands, but we'll leave it like that for you. All right, the eight of wands and the hierophant came out again. So there we go, the hierophant there. There we go, the hierophant there. But on this message card, it says stay woke and ask your ancestors, which also came up in another pile. We also got things are falling into place fast. Page of Swords. 
came out as a block here just came out again page of swords page of swords this message card is saying put your ideas into action and go for it all right just take a resonate and leave what doesn't i'll get you guys an animal oracle card peacock vibrancy pretty you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility and avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Is that two peacock cards? Oh no, they just look like they went together, right? White stag protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. I said you guys need to go out and take a nature walk. Yes. Use your intuition. Hierophant, Hierophant, freaking Nine of Cups. Come on now. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Yes, you are. I am convinced that this is resonating. But if it doesn't, it's okay. Check out another pot. Let's get messages. Sorry, I haven't opened up more. Flew out as well as let's take it a step further. Yes, yes. Let's take it a step further. Sorry, I haven't opened up more. Maybe your person is going to decide to open up more. Oh, God. People hate on us, which also flew out in pile. Well, I don't know which pile. <laughs> I should have made you an offer a long time ago. I think came out in pile one as well. So I feel like these all these piles are somewhat connected. Dude, I'm tired of stuff flying though, I'll tell you that much. Lord have mercy. But it's not me, it's the energy. Whatever is supposed to show and come out comes out. There we go. That's what we're doing. Cool. What are they what's your person saying to you right now? I promise it'll be alright. Let's try a double date. Let's do what's right for you. Ooh, let's party. Go out and hang out with each other and let loose. I can still feel you here. I feel like your person misses you if you guys have had a separation. I love you so much, but there's definitely love. I'm sorry I lied to you. Maybe you or your person was hiding something. But I'm not really getting that from this overall energy, but who knows. I promise I will communicate better. Yeah, I'm feeling like it's more of a communication thing with the... Where is it? Right here. I'm sorry, I haven't opened up more. You've been so patient, thank you. I totally get that, especially with that temperance card. Like, you've been patient, and they really love that about you. Oh, I wanna see you after dark. So yeah, they love everything about you, from the inside, the out, the intimate. Right after that, I'm trying to give you something you can feel. So I feel like not only is this a nice little connection, but you guys are very um, sexually attracted to each other. I think it's time. And last card. <laughs> you balance me out again. That makes sense with that temperance card. So um, yeah, pile three. I really hope that this uh, resonated for you. If it did, please be sure to give your girl PZ a huge thumbs up and like this video. If not, it's completely fine. You can check out another pile or another video I've made either here or on my other channel, Love Bug Light. Until the next time, see ya.